my fellow Singaporeans. We held this general election in the midst of COVID-19 to ensure that Singaporeans could vote safely and fairly the Elections Department planned additional precautions during the voting process. They also set up more polling stations. Nevertheless, the precautions meant that the voting process took longer, the queues to vote were longer, and in some cases, in some polling stations, much longer. We extended voting by two hours to make sure that everyone had the opportunity to vote and would not miss out because of the close of voting time. And we achieved this, the turnout this time was higher than the turnout in the previous general election. The voting arrangements could have been done better. We will do a thorough review and make sure that we improve in future. I'd like to thank all voters for your patience and understanding. Many more public officers were mobilized in this election to cope with the special arrangements for COVID-19. Besides their usual election duties, they had to take on the additional burden of ensuring a safe election for voters under exceptionally demanding conditions. On behalf of Singaporeans, I thank them for their dedication and hard work. On the outcome of the election, the popular vote is 61.2 per cent. We won 83 seats out of 93, and we have a clear mandate. But the percentage of the popular vote is not as high as I had hoped for. And we lost one GRC. Nevertheless, the result reflects broad-based support for the PAP. Singaporeans understand what is at stake and why we must come together to uphold our national interests. I'm honoured and humbled by the faith Singaporeans have put in the PAP and the heavy responsibility you have entrusted us with. I will use this mandate responsibly to deal with COVID-19 and the economic downturn and to take us safely through the crisis and beyond. At the same time, the results reflect the pain and uncertainty that Singaporeans feel in this crisis. The loss of income, the anxiety about jobs, the disruption caused by the circuit breaker and the safe distancing restrictions. This was not a feel-good election, but one where people are facing real problems and expect more rough weather to come. I said on nomination day that I expected that this election would be a tough fight for the PAP and that I completely disagreed that it would be a wipeout of the opposition, as the opposition was making out. And so it has turned out. The results show also a clear desire for a diversity of voices in Parliament. Singaporeans want the PAP to form the government, but they, and especially the younger voters, also want to see more opposition presence in Parliament. The next Parliament will have 12 opposition MPs. 10 elected constituency MPs from the Workers' Party and two elected non-constituency MPs if the candidates take up the non-constituency seats. I look forward to them participating in and contributing to the debate in Parliament and to the national debate as we deal with the urgent issues before us. I have called Mr Pritam Singh just now to congratulate him and the Workers' Party for their strong performance. I told Mr Singh that with 10 MPs, I think it is right that he, the Workers' Party leader, be formally designated as the leader of the opposition, and that he will be provided with appropriate staff support and resources to perform his duties. And he thanked me for this. Naturally, I am disappointed that the PAP lost Singkang Asset, GRC. Ng Chi Meng and his team, Lam Pi Min, Amrin Amin and Raymond Lai, always knew it was going to be a tough fight. They gave it their all, but Sengkang voters have spoken, and we respect their decision. It is, however, a major loss to my team and to the 4G leaders, especially as Ng Chi Meng is the Secretary General of the NTUC. I have spoken to Chi Meng and his GRC team to thank them and to encourage them to continue to serve the party and Singapore in different ways. The PAP will strive to win back Singkang GRC. We will also continue to fight to win back Aljunit GRC and Aukang SMC. My team and I will serve all Singaporeans, whichever party you vote for. Whether or not you voted for the PAP, we will listen to you, do our best to address your concerns, and try to win your support. 
Now that the election is over, we need to put all our differences aside, close ranks, and work together on the task at hand, which is to get us through the crisis safely. An election is an act of collective choice, and Singaporeans have chosen the PAP and the government as the government. I ask every citizen to support the team that you have chosen and to work with us. The challenges ahead call for not only a whole-of-government response, but a whole-of-the-nation response. And that work has continued throughout this campaign and will carry on starting tomorrow. In every election, for the PAP especially and for Singapore, leadership transition is an important issue. Each election is also an opportunity to renew the PAP slate of MPs and to induct a younger generation who will in time take over the baton for the next lap. I'm happy that my new team includes 24 new MPs elected for the first time. The new candidates have performed well. They include Gan Xiao Huang and Yip Hon Wing, who contested in SMCs as newbies and won. The new MPs elected this time will reinforce our renewal process. Thank you for giving them the chance to show what they can do for you. I've also been preparing the 4G team to take over the reins for many years. What I did not expect was to meet this overwhelming crisis in the last stretch of my premiership. Together with my older colleagues like Senior Ministers Tio Chihen and Tarman Shanmugaratnam and Minister Shanmugam, as well as Heng Sui Kiat Chan Chun Singh and the 4G ministers, I will see this crisis through. I'm determined to hand over Singapore intact and in good working order to the next team. The work of the new government begins at once. My government will work with all of you to overcome the present health and economic crisis and emerge stronger. With this election now behind us, let us work as one Singapore to secure our lives, our jobs and our future. Thank you. Now I shall take a few questions. First, we have Junsin from today. Yes, go ahead. Jinsen, would you be able to unmute yourself as well? You hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi. See you too. Hi. Uh, Mr. Lee, you had said that you needed a strong mandate in order to act decisively in the difficult times ahead. But without this strong mandate now, what does it change for the future? And did the party lose the youth vote in this GE? And secondly, with the loss of three political office holders, including the Labour chief, how significant is that loss in such a time? Well, it's not as strong a mandate as I hoped for, but it's a good mandate. I think the popular vote, 61%, is very respectable in these circumstances, and we won 83 seats. We will make the most of it. We take this as an endorsement of the PAP's policies, of our team and of our plans, and we will take this forward and work with Singapore to realise those plans and solve the problems which we have. Whether it works out will depend, and whether it is seen as a strengthening of Singapore will depend not only on what the PAP does, but also on what the opposition does, because the opposition now has 10 members of parliament elected from constituencies, and there will be 12 in the parliament when it meets. And that we will wait and see. I have spoken to Mr. Pritam Singh and I told him that we intend to recognize a leader of the opposition, namely him, and that we would look forward to working together with him. And I hope that will be possible. As for losing the ministers, I think it's a significant loss to the 4G team because Ng Chi Meng is uh, Secretary General of the NTUC, remains Secretary General of the NTUC. Lam Pin Min is a Senior Minister of State. He's been in the Ministry of Transport and Health, and he's made contributions on many different issues. And Amrin Amin is a very promising young uh, Malay Senior Pal Sek, or Pal Sek. And 
um, he has done quite a lot um, in MHA particularly uh, for the Malay community on drugs and on other very difficult issues. And Raymond Lai, who is not an office holder but has been a long-standing grassroots leader in Bongol East, uh, has knows the area well, intimately, and would have been able to add a very good feel to the team of the needs of the residents. But it's a loss not to have them in my MP's team and in my cabinet, but we will move forward and move on from here, as we did after Aljunid went to the opposition in 2011. Picking from Business Times. Yes. Uh, hi, this is Pick, uh, Chuang Pikming from the Business Times. Yes. My question is, uh, what, what do you have to say to the business commun community, especially if that is following the results of this uh, election? Thank you. Well, I will say that we have got a good result, that we will make the most of this result, and we will continue to fight to persuade them that Singapore is worthy of their confidence and their investment. And we will demonstrate that this is so by the way we take Singapore forward from here. And as I said earlier, that depends on what we do but it also depends on how the opposition conducts itself to convince them that, in fact, there is in Singapore responsible opposition who understand the national interests and put that before party politics. Srikat, you want to add anything to that? Yes. Well, uh, Pei Ming, I think uh, first, the, the work of uh, restructuring our economy or transforming our industry uh, must continue. The, the work of uh, protecting jobs, saving jobs, and uh, creating new jobs must continue. And in that, we have had been working on this for a number of years now. I, I think it is important for us to continue to emphasize the fundamentals that we have and that uh, to be able to enhance investors' confidence. And as PM said, a critical factor is that the opposition must be prepared to work together in order to safeguard our national interests. I had uh, uh, a short chat with uh, Nicosia and uh, Terence earlier on, and that they, they said that, look, we must work together, and this is about Singapore, Singapore's interests and about our national interests, the interests of Singapore and Singaporeans. So I look forward to the Workers' Party playing a constructive role and putting national interests before party interests. On the question of uh, segments of the population and the youth vote, I think these are things which we will analyse in due course, uh, not at 5 o'clock in the morning. I would say that uh, the different generations have different life experiences and the young people have very significantly different uh, uh, life aspirations and priorities compared to the older generations, and that this will have to be reflected in our political process and in the government policies, because in the end, the government policies must be to achieve the aspirations of every generation of Singaporeans. At the same time, we also hope that new generations of Singaporeans look critically, but not um, critically, but with an open mind at what the previous generations have done to examine what is relevant, what continues to be sense to make sense for them in a new environment and to learn from these experiences hard won by their parents and grandparents so that they don't have to learn them all over again and pay a high price which has already been paid. And I think that is the work of uh, um, the, the generations have to work together in order to achieve that and not have a disconnect and find ourselves with no historical memory.
friends from the media will be taking the last question for the night. Uh, is one from Mediacorp Malay News. I believe you have a question. Yes, my question is to PM and also Mr. Masagos. Uh, PM Lee, can I have your comment on minority votes, especially uh, the Malay voters uh, for this GE? Dan Encik Masagos, adakah ini mencerminkan sokongan masyarakat Melayu bagi uh, dasar-dasar yang dikeluarkan oleh parti PAP sepanjang lima tahun yang lalu? I think overall the Malay votes and the uh, Indian votes have not been very different from the Chinese votes in this election. Uh, the issues have been national ones. They affect people of all different races. And everybody is equally concerned. Um, the party, as a fundamental principle, has made sure that it, we put up a slate which is representative of the different communities in Singapore, different races, different religions. And that our policies reflect the interests of the broad majority of Singaporeans of all races, but not narrow sectarian policies put together, but bringing the communities together in order to come to a consensus on national policies which are in the interests of a reason of, of everyone. And I think we have succeeded in doing that. Uh, I have said earlier on national nomination day, I was asked about the Malay candidates. I said I, they are very promising and they are representative of a new generation. And I think during the campaign, they have performed well, and they've spoken, they have, uh, they have gone camp, uh, canvassing. And I'm very glad that they ha will now have a chance to prove themselves. But Mas, you want to say something? Where's Mas? Uh, I'll, I'll speak in Malay. Uh, yang penting bagi saya adalah kita tidak boleh membuang masa dalam uh, menghadapi krisis yang sangat getir ini. Sementara juga memikirkan masa depan yang akan datang yang harus cerah untuk semua. Jadi kami bakal anggota parlimen sudah pun uh, bermesyuarat uh, atau telah bertukar uh, idea untuk menubuhkan empat kelompok dalam kita mengatasi krisis dan juga membina masa depan yang baik. Sekaligus juga melihat apakah uh, Masalah yang mungkin masih kita hadapi dan harus kita uh, uh, selesaikan. Empat kelompok itu adalah uh, sokongan sosial, sokongan uh, untuk pekerja dan perusahaan, perusahaan uh, sokongan dan membangun uh, potensi belia dan kerjasama dengan golongan uh, agama. Ini sudah pun kita berjalan sedikit sebanyak dalam rangka M03 dan dalam mengatasi krisis juga dalam rangka SG Teguh Bersatu. Tapi kita harus menumpukan lebih lagi usaha untuk menguatkan lagi supaya hasilnya janganlah sampai kalau kita tidak melakukannya, kita khawatir nanti masyarakat kita juga yang ketinggalan dan terjejas dengan teruk. Yes, we have come to the end of our press conference. Thank you all.